Hello guys, you see this time it didn't take so long and I'm back here again. My name is Tomáš Fuk and I'm welcoming you for my next video. Today's video will be in a similar spirit as the last week's. Uh, we will take a look on reconstruction of our home and the uh, main corridor of our, of our house. And uh, if you watched my older technology videos, uh, they actually took place usually in basically the same spot, few inches over here, in different angle or in this way different angle. And yeah, if you remember those, you can see how deep the reconstruction actually was. So let's go for it and let's take a look at the photos of the reconstruction. First, we will start with the photos of the original condition. Please excuse the mess. It was taken basically in the middle of the move, or rather the bed and the most important things were already moved unexpectedly, literally from hour to hour, because our boiler just exploded. As you can see, the apartment was really, really retro or old, uh, and it was long overdue for renovation. Uh, nevertheless, we had a wonderful seven years in it. And uh, actually, we were so sorry that it ended so suddenly, as you can see in the photo from my wife's expression. In the apartment, there was a huge amount of things left by my ancestors, actually more than one generation, that needed to be sorted. So uh, the actual moving out of the apartment took a long time. My mom was needed to sort those things. Therefore, while mom was sorting, I, sta I started a probe in the floor, stairs and ceiling to have a rough idea of uh, what awaited us. As you can see, we were in for a real retro. In this video, you can see that the wall is not standing on another wall or beams, but literally only on a plank. I must admit that this scared me a lot. Uh, that is why this wall ultimately needed to be taken down. Overall, the composition of the floor was exposed, uh, the upper boards, they are no longer visible, the slag, which is also cleared away in this room, and the lower boards, and then the floor beams. Uh, and finally, the ceiling beams and ceiling boards. Also, there were these rather nice historical doors in the whole apartment. We wanted to save them, uh, but we found out that they are relatively cheap uh, replacements and there is no point, and actually there is no technology to renovate them. The next step was uh, removal of the old plasters in the entire apartment. The plaster then flew through the tunnel into contain container down on the street. This crack, although it's uh, historical and not really fresh, uh, I didn't like it very much, so we sew it up with a rock source just to be sure that it holds. There was quite a lot of wood and slag in the, in the floor. Anyway, we finally get into the stage where most of the loose mess is already gone and the quality of the bottom boards needs to be evalu evaluated. And unfortunately, it wasn't good. Uh, they were uh, ready for replacements. Not much has been done with the toilet yet because it will eventually became a balcony. The time has come to replace the windows, both in the apartment and in the corridor. Subsequently, we found out the, the difference between the highest and lowest point of the beam in the apartment is over 25 centimeters or 10 inches for my US friends. Crazy that also needed to be fixed. Originally, we thought that uh, we would level it up with planks, but in the end, the beams were quite bent and swaying. So we decided that it was necessary to supplement them with the new beams. This material is for grit over the beams and the OSB planks will be used over the grid. Movement was quite limited at the time and one had to be uh, very careful. In first room, there were uh, shorter beams and there was no need to add more of them. So the lower floor is already done. The beams are really giant and very heavy. I tried to lift one just from one side and I had no chance. Anyway, the guys somehow got them up and I settled them right away. Subsequently, came up with a grid from the roof buttons and closed the whole thing with two layers of OSB boards 
uh, with metalon between them so they don't creak. Here it was necessary to lower one door to the height of the other, other one and widen the other so that the niche for the boiler could be built uh, there. Fig figuring out uh, where to put the second toilet in the apartment so it doesn't look stupid and at the same time compiles with the regulations was quite challenging. But I think we finally came, out, came up with pretty elegant solution, even if it meant uh, that one pipe uh, needed to dr uh, drop actually between the beams. Well, finally, the fun part begins, the construction of new walls. The apartment immediately acquired a completely different character. There was nothing to wait for uh, and the plastering started right away. Here I had to record how the Ukrainians throw the plastering with Mason's ladle. In the Czechia, I only saw it with Mason's spoon, so it was really interesting. This transformation seemed very fast to me. The heating, water, waste, electricity, and almost all the walls are already plastered. It feels that all this happened within two days. The only thing still ugly is the balcony. And since uh, everything is spread out, it's time for insulation and polystyrene. Lots of polystyrene. This was one hell of the machine, because at this moment it was time to concrete the floors. I found the guys with the quite modern technology. There is no need for a metal net to prevent the concrete from cracking. Cutted nylon fibers are actually added uh, into, the, into the mix. And the whole mixing and transport to the floor takes place automatically. Just one bag of cement, handful of fiber is put inside, and scent is poured into the mouth. Very fine scent, by the way. Basically, it's a waste from the glass industry. Also very interesting. The machine then pours in as much sand as it needs, and it takes uh, in as much water as it needs, and send the mixture up upstairs, where another group is already placing it and making a flat surface. <clears throat> On that fine glass sand, it is very interesting how fine the uh, resulting concrete is. It's so fine that no leveling compound is needed for wooden floor because the concrete is really polished smooth. Uh, here you can see the difference between polished and unpolished. Anyway, the concrete should have uh, dried for 5 to 10 weeks. For us, it almost took 30 weeks. And we heated it, there was ventilation, there was fans running, it just took us so much time. Uh, in meantime, we started opening the roof over the toilet and starting to make a balcony out of it. Uh, I have to say that the view uh, of the house from that side is very strange at this moment. Uh, and I enjoyed the gutter drain that uh, remained there for several weeks the most. It was really spectacular. The fact that our apartment started to look nice doesn't mean that we won the hallway looked like this for months and we finally started to untangle the mess of cables and these were the first steps to make it look uh, not, not so terrible. In meantime, construction of ceiling support and plast plasterboard began uh, in the apartment. Gas, boiler and chimney had to be accelerated because the moisture uh, in the concrete Meanwhile, the boys started to put the whole apartment in a reinforcing mesh, construction glue and final, final layer of stucco. And finally, it was time to wall up the new door frame and he immediately got a new door so he wouldn't correct himself. The plasterboards uh, on the ceiling is already installed. All that is left to do is set a sealer and send it down and we can paint. The floor is already being built on the balcony. Corridor came up uh, a long way, but still there was a lot of work left. Data cables on the rack and server are, are already in place. And due to need to install air conditioning uh, for the dehumidification and heating, my wife and I have to already painted the living room. The old hideous plaster hidden behind the roof went down and new plaster was put over it again. 
we spent the whole weekend in the apartment and it's painted. And this was the first meal of someone from our family in the apartment. Electricity, lights up! Overall, at this stage, with uh, installation of outlets, appliances, the bathroom, the kitchen, our apartment has been so close to be finished at this moment that only thing that it really miss is the floors. And since the apartment was coming together, it was time to dig up something else. The hallway. First coffee on the balcony in January. Well, it looks like we matched the floor to the door exactly right. The 30 weeks awaited day has finally arrived. The floors are starting to be laid. And also knocking down the stairs. <laughs> the tiles and stairs were ruined and it needed to be redone, but there were only bricks and dirt underneath, so it needed to be concrete. And at this moment, we were doing the floors in the apartment and starting to assemble the kitchen. At the same time, we were sending the stairs in the hallway, so the dust management was quite a pain. Anyway, the shoe rack was really missing at this moment. But the kitchen, it's a blast. Almost everything is so nice. Server, plated blinds, doors, even the corridor really woke up. And final touch with the countertop in the kitchen and the window sills. Honestly, as IT guy, I'm really proud of my home network solution. The balcony was done and our dog immediately started to enjoy it. Well, this is how it looked when we moved in. Of course, there were still some details missing, but they have already been fine-tuned, such as the balcony floor or sofa. And then details and final touches, such as Christmas decorations, pancake pan, grill, and good burgers in it. Well, this was my next video. You've seen almost all of my uh, secrets. I hope you like it. If so, please like, share, subscribe, social networks. You know the drill. And next time we take a look on something else. Maybe something completely different, like completely different. Thank you. Bye.